Hi students, so welcome back to my class and you're here at Missy TV. For today's video, I'll teach you how to use the synthetic division. Okay, in this video, I'll teach you how to use the synthetic division and also the remainder of a polynomial using this method. Alright, so for example, we have used the synthetic division to divide 5x cubed plus 6x plus 50 by x plus 2. So first, our divisor here is x plus 2. Now, how to get the divisor of x plus 2? What you're going to do is just to equate this first into 0. So that is x plus 2 equal to 0. So let's just get the x. So x equals, so positive 2 will become negative 2. So this would be now our divisor. So our divisor is negative Okay, so this would be the long division or the synthetic division. Now, let's just get the numerical coefficients of our polynomial. Okay, so here the highest exponent here is x cubed. Okay, so now our uh, numerical coefficients in our x cubed is 5, positive 5. Now, our x squared, since we don't have x squared here, so that is 0. Next, our x. So, our numerical coefficients here in x is 6. And then, our constant. So, our constant is 50. Okay? Now, let's divide. Okay? So, just bring down first 5. 5 times, so times, negative 2 is negative 10. Okay? So, 0 so, this is plus. 0 plus negative 10 is negative 10. So, again, multiply. Negative 10 times negative 2 is positive 20. 6 plus 20 is 26. Okay? And then next, 26 times negative 2 is negative 52. Okay? Next, let's add 50 plus Negative 52 is negative 2. Now, this would be our remainder. And now, our quotient is this 5, negative 10, and 26. Now, how to, um, how to write this into equation? So, since our highest exponent here is um, x cubed, now, in our quotient, the highest exponent would be x squared. So, since highest exponent here in the given is x cubed, so in our quotient, the highest exponent now is x squared. So, we have, so this is our quotient, 5x squared, okay, negative 10, minus 10x, okay, plus, so this is our constant, plus 26. So, this would be our quotient okay thus together with the remainder so this now will be our um our equation so that would be 5x squared okay minus 10x plus 26 since this is negative so we have to write negative 2 as our remainder over our divisor is x plus 2 Okay, so now this is our equation. This is our remainder, this is our quotient, and this is our final equation. For the next example, we have used synthetic division to divide 2x cubed minus x squared minus 22x minus 25 by x minus 4. So again, what is our divisor here? So equate this first into 0, so that is x minus 4 equal to 0. Okay, now x equals, so negative 4 will become positive 4. So this would be our divisor, so positive 4, okay. Next, let's just get the, um, the, the numerical coefficient. So since the highest exponent here is x cubed, so let's get the numerical coefficient of this. So this is 2, okay. So next is our x squared, so this is negative so, we have the negative 1. Next, for our x, we have negative 22. And then, our constant is negative 25. Okay?
Okay, let's divide. Alright? So, again, bring down 2. 2 times 4. So, again, times. 2 times 4 is 8. So, positive 8. Now, let's add negative 1 plus 8 is 7. 7 times 4 is 28. Positive 28. Negative 22 plus 28 is positive 6. 6 times 4 is 24. Next, negative 25 plus 24 is negative 1. Now again, this is our remainder. So how to write this into equation? So since again, the highest exponent here is x cubed. So now in our quotient, we will use the x squared. So we have 2. Okay, so this is our quotient. 2x squared. This, since this is positive, so we have plus 7x. Okay, so this is our constant, so plus 6. Okay, thus, okay, our equation here is 2x squared plus 7x. Plus 6, okay, this is um, negative, so we have negative 1 over our divisor is x minus 4. Okay. For the last example, we have used the synthetic division to divide x raised to 5th power minus 1 by x minus 1. So again, our divisor is x minus 1, equate this into 0. So x equals negative 1 will become positive 1. So, now this is our divisor. So, we have 1 or positive 1. Okay. So, let's get the numerical coefficients. So, since the highest exponent here is uh, x to the 5th power, so get the coefficients of x raised to 4th power, x cubed, x squared, and x. Okay. So, our numerical coefficients in x raised to 5th power is 1. Okay. Next, we don't have here x raised to 4th power, so that is 0. We don't have x cubed here, so it is also 0. We also don't have x squared here, so that's it, that is also 0. Okay? So our x is also 0. Next is negative 1. Okay, now let's divide. Bring down 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Okay? Plus 0 plus 1 is 1. Okay, 1 times 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is also 1. Then 1 times 1 is 1. And then negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Okay, so now our remainder is... 0. So, we don't have remainder here. Next, what is our quotient? Okay. So, um, let's um, write this into equation. So, since our highest exponent is x raised to 5th power, so in our quotient, the highest exponent would be x raised to 4th power. So, we have 1 here. So, just write x to the 4th power. Since they are all positive, so they are all plus. Okay. So, next, x to the third power or x cubed plus okay so this is x to the fourth power this is x cubed and then this this is x squared and then now this is x okay plus so we have the constant one plus our equation here is x to the fourth power plus x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1, okay, plus 0 over. So our divisor here is x minus 1. That is very easy. So that's how we end our lesson for today. If you have more questions, so please comment down below and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Bye-bye!